White is an edict. A European king commissioned his dark-robed clergymen to slip into the backs of Bibles, an appendix warping Christ. White was a powerful uh, short film. The editing is really good. Um, this message about weaponized religion is really powerful. It really makes you think about where a lot of um, white colonizers were coming from and how they weaponized the Bible and religion to get what they want and justify what they were doing. Um, the monologue was really powerfully delivered in this film um, and the, the words themselves were uh, really made you think and were a great message. Um, I love the comparison between white colonizers and the bumbling toddler just putting everything in their mouth, um, being destructive without thinking of the consequences, uh, you know, being wholly focused on themselves and their, um, you know, well-being and their greed. Um, so overall, I thought this was a really powerful monologue, delivered visually um, in a great way, especially with the editing it was really well done is a really great example of poetry and visuals and having the visuals add to the spoken word poetry. Um, I thought it was really cool to watch this piece unfold and to hear the different words. It really was impactful with each line and, and it was really cool how the visuals um, worked in tandem with it. <clears throat> I just finished watching um, White, which I thought was um, an interesting and um, provocative piece that I think um, had a, a message that was sort of um, de deceptive in its depth, um, if I'm saying that um, correctly. I thought the, the construct of the baby sort of symbolizing um, the white uh, power structure um, was a very interesting conceit, since obviously a baby is the height of innocence, but I think there was a sort of a thematic idea about how this child ends up um, inheriting um, these dynamics and how sort of structural oppressive um, uh, societal dynamics force uh, people into certain boxes and to b create certain rules of thought that come from a very very young age <clears throat> excuse me and I thought that the piece had a good sense of that in a very short amount of time and I thought that it was a very sinister undertone to the piece that I think matches the the weight of the subject so I ended up enjoying the piece and thought it was well thought out and uh, mainly well executed because of what it did in a short short period of time with the visual construct of the baby and images of American history um, overlapped with the voiceover it created a very mixed uh, documentaries type feel that I thought um, worked well for the piece so um, I ended up enjoying it overall and thought that the um, overall impact of the piece was uh, very strong and was um, quite engaging which I ended up um, enjoying. This was a really smart and creative telling of uh, yeah, I guess how the Bible sort of uh, came to be how it's been used and um, it's just it's really concise it's poetic it's uh, really uh, smart and thoughtfully edited the visuals we get uh, compared to uh, what we're seeing are just uh, yeah just spot it's really smart um, I really just enjoyed the whole piece great work what is another short video that definitely forces you to stop and think uh, it's very poetic and it, it definitely leans into the narrative of um, history is written by the victors. Uh, so you can definitely see uh, the argument that's made that in this situation, religion is being used as an oppressive factor to make those who are being colonized more submissive. Uh, basically, using religion or the Bible as a way to say, uh, God was created in my image, and because he looks like me, therefore I am more divine than you because you don't look like God because you have darker skin. Uh, it's one of those tactics where by making a person feel lesser, you start to 
build in those seeds of superiority. It's one of the reasons why we've dealt with racism for as long as we have, because it's not as easy as going, hey, stop being racist, and then racism is cured. No one's ever racist. It's very much a deep-rooted thing that is instilled and nurtured for decades upon decades uh if you're if you're a religious person and you see that um god was created to look like you or uh changing it a little bit you were created to look like god there's that sense of superiority that the people who don't look like god will never be as divine as you uh and due to that heightened ego anything that can challenge that sense of superiority will always lead to backlash uh so i guess all in all <laughs> what uh what white made me start thinking about is just how deeply rooted some of these issues are and just how much of a challenge it's going to be to uh resolve issues when it comes to race because like they said the fact that the bible was tweaked to make it that uh those who were colonizing look like the divine uh how are you how are you supposed to combat that in a sense but yeah it uh definitely makes you think white was a really really interesting piece um i really enjoyed the the narrator and how how well he delivered the sp speech story the narrative um his tone of voice his intentionality with it really i think um made such a great impact over how the content was delivered. Um, I thought it was super creative to have this baby, this little toddler, um, as the visual subject matter when talking about um, the greed and uh, religious violence of white colonialism and how it um, came to be. Um, there's interesting comparisons between uh, a toddler and a colonizer, which is something that I never thought I would say. Um, but I think the similarities are this idea that like, everything is free, everything belongs to me. If I want it, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to put it in my mouth. And there's little regard for, uh, other people and how, how it affects them. The difference obviously being one is benign and one is um, in, intentional and malignant, if you will. Um, and also it speaks to how these ideas and practices are taught from birth. They're taught from such a young age. Um, and yeah, there's so much to unpack and it's such a quick video. It's like a minute, 30 seconds and there's so much there. So I thought this was really well done. It was really creative. I think it's um, a great talking piece um, because there's so much that you can extrapolate from it and discuss. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this. Very creative. Great job. White. Well, there were so many profound words and spoken lines in this film of Brandon Wint's poem. Uh, the film scenes tell the story perfectly. I like the little graphics that just help you with the images of colonialism. Uh, he expresses the Bible as being used as a weapon. It's very accurate. The disarming images of a rifle and gunpowder and that interspersed with the toddler images of this innocent baby just eating in his high chair. It was very effective and I think they put a lot of thought into how this would be shown but at the same time leave people really thinking about everything they've just been told. Really well done. Excellent.